So this monument actually symbolizes the revolt on the, against the German army by the Polish people. This is the royal castle here in Warsaw. So like a lot of the other Eastern European cities, uh, there's entrances to the old town. Here's one and then there's another one up here with also one behind it. So it's a way of connecting the buildings and entering the city both. So this is the market square. Very impressive square here. The restaurants, the souvenirs, nice buildings. So a long time ago, I saw the Little Mermaid statue in 2007 in Denmark. It's world famous. So this here, they say, is uh, the twin sister of it, and they floated down the river in Denmark. They floated down the river, and one went to Denmark, one went to here. So this here is another entrance to the city and right now I'm walking on the city walls. That's another great part of Warsaw here. <coughs> the city goes across this crosswalk which is the main entrance up here. I like how, like I said, an Eastern Europe style, the Polish styles, like this building here has a design right there, like some kind of cat, lion, tiger, whatever, and then this one has designs on the side of it too. Looks like a house and some wagons. So this here is the Presidential Palace and the famous Hotel Bristol. It must be expensive if it's next to the Presidential Palace. I mean the, the palace itself? Well, it's basically the, a gift from the Soviet uh, Union, right? <laughs> uh, to the right. This is a mall here in Warsaw. Inside is pretty interesting. They got like a bunch of uh, simulations for the World Cup and everything. Big screen TVs, but uh, they said something like that the Warsaw was made as a wave, like there's kind of looks like a ship or something, and don't know if it's true or not. So this is the Warsaw Rising Museum, a chronological order here. Uh, September 1st, 1939, Germany invades Poland, the beginning of World War. That's what I saw over in uh, Westerplatte. The Soviet army invades Poland, and later on, and here it comes Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 7, 1941. I've also been there. So U.S. entered the army at that, or the World War at that time. And here ends up where Warsaw gets destroyed in 1944. Or excuse me, 1945. And so this is the Warsaw Rising Museum. Uh, we got an airplane over there, a bomber. But this museum basically takes you through Warsaw and how it was involved in the World War II, when it was attacked, when it was rebuilt, some of the weapons, artifacts, letters on the walls, stuff like that. And it is pretty interesting. It gives you a feel like you, you know, you're kind of still in old Warsaw. You're walking through tunnels with pictures on the wall and as you can see here's a little brick wall.